Gomez, Luigi Braskov. Um, thank you guys for coming. Yeah. Appreciate it. Of course. Um, I think it's gonna be a fun one. I think I think this is the kind of area where most people get interested in, and most of the feedback that comes through social media is is uh, when are we doing the bodybuilding stuff? So th this will be this will be fun. So a lot of good information, I'm sure, will will come from this. So. Yeah. Um, do you guys know each other? No, not for a long time, but we followed each other for a long time. But when we, we just started talking uh, during his uh, last uh, prep. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah so we were, <laughs> uh, we were friends on social media, but not friends like in person. Yeah, yeah welcome uh, to 2021. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, I mean, he followed my stuff. I followed his and, you know, and then, but it wasn't until like m toward the end of my prep that we actually spoke to one another. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. So now are you speaking to each other as in just just friends or you guys was there any helping with posing or diet or anything? Uh, just friends. Well, just friends. Yeah. yeah. And I told you, him before when I'm, I was on prep, I mean, he can reach out to me if he needs help or posing or whatever. Cool. He did. He always he always he was always very like, uh, you know, positive with everything. Like he'd always offer, hey, if you ever need anything, like, let me know or whatever. So, yeah, cool. yeah. I mean, it was core of friends but like he also you know as competitors you know he still offered his his you know two cents of what yeah you know, what well then that's the kind of that gray side with with you know competition versus helping somebody out it is it mostly everybody helps everybody out or is there a lot of competition side where you're not going to give away secrets or or whatever no for me if you ask, I'll, I'll give it up easy. easy. Well, because you, you still have to do it, right? Yeah. So if oh, you yeah. say, hey, you've got to, you know, this is how your, your prep is. This is how the peak week is. This yeah. is what you, these are, this is the sleep you need to do and the workout routine you need to do and the food you need to eat. You still have to put that work in yeah. to oh, do yeah. it, right? Yeah. So yeah, you, can, you can literally lay it out for everybody yeah. and then see if they grind it out. But. Yeah, at the same time, all, uh, we're not on the same if the meals works for me, it doesn't mean it's going to work for them. Yeah. So you got to know where your body or how it works for you. How do you find that? I mean, it's just like be mindful of your body. Let's say if you eat one meal, right? Say how, how your body going to react before you work out. Let's say pre-workout meal. So how, how, how your body going to react after the meal working out? How, how is it? Are you going to lift heavy? Or are you sluggish? Mm. Or is it your your belly is like bloated, like popped out? Mm -hmm. So be mindful of your body. So everything, and that's kind of what happens. You, everything you eat, everything, then you start to kind of self-evaluate. Right, you, you, have go. To just, you have to yeah. pay attention to your body. Like he was saying, you gotta pay attention to your body and how, how you feel and how do you react to the food. You know, so like if, for example, if he's taking, you know, 100 grams of cream of rice, well, that might not work for me, yeah. you know, like, sweet potatoes works well for me. My body responds really well. It might not work for somebody else. Yeah. You know, like you said, the sluggish, are you, are you like, though you got your food in, are you like, oh, and you feel muggy and mm -hmm. like your lift, your lift suffers. But if you go in and you're like, wow, I feel incredible right now, you know, and then all of a Check. sudden that, yeah. that workout is 10 times better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How long have you been doing this, Manny? Like I mean, saying, like when was your first show i guess I the very first show that i actually did was just recent just june 12th at the salt lake city championships oh that was your first so you that only was done my one. very you've done very one. first show that's pretty crazy because you've kind of been in this game for a minute three right? years three years is when i discovered this sport and, okay. and you know a couple of setbacks um you know working for the government that's you just kind of you know that's what happens sometimes mm -hmm. um so my very first show yeah salt lake city championships june 12th that was my very very okay. first show okay and how'd you do I placed first in both true novice and in my open class. Killer. Yeah. 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 Then I, then no I fought shit. for yeah. then I fought for the overall, and that was that was a tough lineup. But okay. you know, um, I was I was happy with the with the outcome. I was well, yeah. Happy. I mean, yeah. going in your first show, doing something like that is is pretty insane. And and almost I've noticed you going in on your first show, winning the overall so early, like it almost mentally demotivates you i've noticed i there's yeah, 10 12 fine. people yeah. i know that's that fine. yeah mm -hmm. and and so i it's kind of watching people start from the bottom and work. i mean you're the prime example luigi i mean you'll post your shows you know yeah. what how many shows have you done uh maybe eight yeah maybe i mean it's nuts to watch yeah. that timeline and it's just that consistent grind you know yeah. and 
Um, but, but that's but so you finish, I think, at the top of what you would want to without going too far, <laughs> getting complacent. Right, right, right. right. Um, I mean, but it's it's kind of just I always take that mentality of you're the, you're at the bottom. Mm -hmm. You're at the bottom, mm -hmm. and I use that with my workouts. I use that to fuel my workouts. You know, because somewhere somebody, you know, whether whether I travel for shows or not, whether I stay local or you know start going to all these other you know, shows that are in different states, it's a local show for somebody. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, how am I going to stack up again? So my next show will be November 20th in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. So not a local show, not a local many. show. So, <laughs> you know, how am I going to stack up with some of these guys from the South? All right. You know, and so when I go to my work, when I go into the gym, I set, I say, you know, somebody out there is working harder than me or yeah. as hard as I am, mm -hmm. you know, I'm at the bottom of the list. And so, I got to prove it to myself, mm -hmm. you know, nobody else but myself. Mm -hmm. Right. And it's, it's just the grind, yeah, embracing exactly. the, the insane yeah. grind. And so you've done, you've done eight shows, you, yeah, you think? Nine, and, yeah. and it started with, it started with just men's physique or yeah. were you, uh, and that's, and that's your class currently, correct. right? Yeah, correct. You're getting pretty big though. Yeah. You yeah, might, we're you not might want to start, <laughs> you might want to start thinking about that old classic <laughs> transition. We are, we are definitely in the off season. Yeah, no, right I now. mean, big in yeah. a good way. You know, yeah. I'm just, there, there's just, you guys have a, you know, you just won, but you're a pro bodybuilder by definite. I'm I'll show you guys in a minute. You are a pro bot. I mean, and you guys are symmetry are very similar and you're doing a class that's not built on, you're built on symmetry and tone and you know versus you're built on volume and, yeah. and you guys have the same build so it's hard to say i'm going to stick with men's physique for a long time right, right? Yeah. right. i mean you would are you thinking about bumping up a class uh you know i would i always say nothing's out of the possibility yeah. of the realm of possibilities um i want to see how far i can go with with men's physique cool um if that itch does come um you know i'll scratch it or try to do both at the same time you know um, ultimately, my dream is to do what he did, you know, yeah. get my IFBB girl card. Um, and then, you know, again, you're, you're back to the bottom, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, you are. Yeah. Now you're at the bottom of the top. Yep. Right. Right. Yep. Yeah, no doubt. And and it's kind of probably cool to see, you know, it took him eight shows. Sometimes it takes people, you know, 15 shows, mm -hmm. but it probably gives you the motivate. Like, yeah, I don't have to do it in one shot. You know, right, you don't right. have to do it in five shots. And, and every year you'd come back, Luigi, like, no, nah, I'll, I'll beat it next year. I'll beat it next year. You I know? think for me, that's the fun part. I mean. God, you're a psycho. Really <laughs> and see, seeing, seeing, like, your body develops year, year by year. Yeah. And you, when you look back, I was like, damn, yep, I did it. Yeah. No, that, that's got to be the fun part, you yeah. know. But, but the mental, the yeah. mental grind on that is just something that, you know the resiliency and and i know your your wife and you make the best team oh, you yeah. know and you know so it's really nice to have that group of people in your corner to help keep you moving yeah that's you know? funny because uh in our bathroom actually i have my own sink her own sink so during this prep i wrote this uh in my mirror i wrote this down uh put everything out uh work hard uh, when when I BB Pro card and she wrote down something about squats in life, like in particular, and you know I wake up in the morning, brush my teeth, look at it. I go to the bathroom before I take a shower, look at it. It's like it manifested. Mm -hmm. If you see it every day, is next thing you know, it'll it'll just your your mind. I mean your mind is pretty control of everything. Yeah. So yeah, it, it's just manifested to me. It's like, yep, I'm gonna win. In your mind, you've been a pro for eight years, yeah. you know, yeah. I, I think. Yeah. And so what's it like to have have a, you know, someone like your wife in your corner? I mean, is she I'm, is she 100% in with you? Or are there times where you're like, where she's like, she's Luigi, 100%, She's you know? 100%, she's 100%. I'm, 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 be, I'm pretty, I'm very blessed to have her on my side, uh, especially when I'm prepping, I mean, she take care of like most inside the house. I mean, cook my meals, take care of the kids, uh, grocery shopping. If I need supplements, she comes and talks yep. to you and asks you. I never see you during prep. I know. Because <laughs> yeah, you you're doing your that's thing. Yeah, said, and that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. I, mean, I just, it's hard when you're prepping, especially when you get 
really close. You mm -hmm. don't have enough energy. You don't even want to go out, go out of bed. Right. You just want to stay in bed. But I'm really thankful and blessed. Like she, she really. Nobody. I mean, nobody really give her any. What you call this? Credit? Are you yeah, credit, credit praise? Not you credit, do though. I mean, you do I, though. You know, I, I mean, I know every time you know somebody talks to you on the mic, you're the first. You know, that's the yeah. first person that, yeah. that you that you think and stuff. And they not they don't know how she works. I mean, she cooks my meal every day, not just for a whole week or every other oh, day. Okay. Every day. Uh -huh. So and then she she works too. So mm -hmm. yeah, that's awesome. Really, you got to talk about think about like what a you know not just a blessing but like yeah. time wise right. Yeah. So for me, you know, where I don't have that kind of thing now, now I've got to make up all that time, things that he doesn't really have to worry about. Not that that, you know, is an excuse of any kind, you know, but it just it shows the difference when you have a support system yeah. that all the little things that you don't have to worry about is already being taken care of for you. Whereas on my side, it's like, OK, I've got to still prep my food. Yep. I've got to. And that's know, most people. Yeah, yeah right? that's the majority of us. Yeah. You know, the majority of us. So those that do have a significant other, you know, kudos to you. You know, yeah. that's where we all, that's what we all want. But yeah, so it's like, I gotta, you know, I gotta fit, you know, I gotta go to the grocery store and pick out my own food. I gotta go make my, like, I gotta prep my meals. And you know, either whether it be daily or for three days at a time, a week at a time, all the stuff that, you know, the ones that don't have it, yeah. you know, they get to, you know, that's less stress off their plate. It is. Especially during prep. It is. And is the last thing but that's you want. but that's where, you know, I, I don't think that you take that for granted ever. Oh. You know, oh. and and I've always said this this sport's a, it's a good sport, uh, to be mentally driven, you know, to figure out where your low points are and your high points are, to learn so many things about yourself. Um, one of them being time management, you know, being able to get the meals in and being able to get your sleep and your workouts in. But beyond that, it is the most selfish sport it is. Oh, yeah. that it exists, is. and it has to be. It if is. you if you want that card, you, it has to be about you always. It always has to be about you. No, uh, it's not. It's it's not just the bodybuilding. It's every sport. I mean, if, if you're gonna train, are you gonna bring your kids and watch them at the same time while you train? No. Yeah, right. It's not gonna happen. So yeah, right. it's it's every sport for me, I guess. Yeah, I mean, if you want the pro yeah. side of it, I agree. Yeah. I agree. It's, it's just, uh, other sports don't mess with your mind That's, the yeah, way the bodybuilding yeah, messes yeah. with your oh, mind. Yeah. You time. know, like you said, you know, they're, they're, you know, you're towards the end of it. You don't want to get out of bed. Yeah. You don't want to, you don't want to do anything. You don't want to see anybody. Yeah. And now is that a, is that sounds dangerous, right? Yeah. So now is it, is it a malnutrition? Like, is it a, is it I, cause you're carb depleted? Is it cause you're dehydrated? Is it because you don't have these things in your body that you typically have like what what happens to well, your mind and your just, body it's it's the food you take you have enough you have enough calorie or to move to move in a day so if you do something else then you're gonna put, put yourself on negatives so you're more hungry and starving and then next thing you know you live to like you're on the edge yeah you just don't have the fuel yeah, yeah. anymore um, Okay, cool. So, so you said you've got Florida coming up. Yes. When, when did you say that was? November 20th. Okay. So right before the Probably holidays. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right before the yeah. holidays. Good job. Yeah. Thanksgiving's yeah, yeah. going to be a blast for you though, right? Yeah, yeah, Thanksgiving absolutely. afterward? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Be great. Yeah. Um, kind of, so kind of going back to what we were, uh, he was saying earlier about, uh, you know, feel like the mental game that we were talking about earlier, mentally, yeah. right? Um, so, you know, he's, in a, you know, the, the best shape right now because he just competed right and then i'm in this off season look you know so you have to be comfortable with coming becoming uncomfortable mm -hmm. and that's the mental part that really gets a lot yeah. of us competitors i know at least at least it does for me you know you don't you'll wake up and you don't see the shreds yeah that you're used to seeing you know like during that prep you know i know it's part of the process and this is you know how you make improvements take the the constructive criticism that the judges give you and say this is what you need to work on for the next show or for your next outing and then you apply it. But it is being comfortable with being uncomfortable because mm. you're not always gonna be stage lean yeah. year round. Yeah. It's, and it, well, that's all, yeah. yeah, it's smoke and mirrors. Yeah, because, you know, I guess I haven't seen, you know, you don't post as much, right? You're not gonna be posting every morning, taking a 
picture or selfie in the mirror sure. of, of bulking season, right, you know? Right, right. And so the only time you see somebody, it's like when I do radio ads, right? They'll run, they'll run our radio ads one week on, one week off, or two weeks on, two weeks off. But people will, they'll, they'll, they'll listen to it and then it'll go off and they won't know, pay no attention. And then it'll come back on and they're like, man, they're always playing. They're always, man, that, that, radio, that radio ad's always playing. It's kind of like with that, right? So Manny or Luigi, you'll post your, your progress picks coming up and then off season comes and you don't really see much. And then, you know, six months later, you're posting your progress picks together. They're like, man, they're always shredded. They're always looking good, you know? And it's just like, no, no, no. You know? <laughs> I've seen Fluffy True. Luigi. Right, <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> you know, and it's just, it's funny how that portrays like, how do you run around at 5% all year round? You're like, I don't, oh, hard, yeah. I don't. Yeah, like it's stupid. I yeah. mean, you, you, I think you would, you would shrink yourself. You know, yeah. I mean, you would constantly just get smaller trying to run at 5%, unless you're genetically, you know, I know there's some 3% or so. Right. Yeah, they that's... just sit like that and they, they try to gain and they can't, you know? So that's everyone's cross the bear, I suppose. Um, but we were talking bef before we started kind of like the, the backstage side and what the atmosphere is like back there now at, what do they do do they just do they throw everybody in a room and you sit there for four hours and no. see what happens or do, like, do they do they put you in sections or how, how does the back side of everything work well, before a show in, in classic and bodybuilding is in one backstage so everybody's in backstage well, we need to show up like let's say the competition start at nine we need to show up uh, an hour early so we're, we're there on the backstage for an hour. But we're like eating, either eating or laying down, listening to music, getting in our zone. That's basically it. Okay. But but it's not like, it's not like everybody has their own room or their no, own, no, no, like, no. I mean, you're just, they just throw shit out in the middle, yeah. right? Like, yeah. they like, like bands and yeah. they have, what do they have yeah, back it's there? It's a pump up room. Pump up, pump up room. Pump up now, room what is that? Usually particularly like, that's just, they call it the pump-up room. It's just, uh, well, with everything happening now with like COVID and all that stuff, you pretty much bring your own stuff. Yeah. You know, typically that's typically okay. that's bands. At least for me, at mine, I, ours was our pump-up room or backstage stuff was outside in Salt Lake City. It was outside, okay. so yeah, I I got to meet a lot of a lot of people, you know, backstage. You know, women and men. You yeah. know, just saying highs and you know, what whatever whatnot. You know, as the divisions went through. Um, but that that's pretty much it. I mean, you bring up your own stuff. <laughs> At least but, it was for you bring your own show, bands. Like, do you feel lost? Do you feel like, like, what the hell am I doing here? Like, I didn't. Or do you do you just, hey, this is what I we're didn't, actually. Be. So everyone thought, or like, you know, for some, that it was nerves or anything. And no, I had knew that the work had already been put in. Mm -hmm. And so I said, you know, the cars are going to fall. They're going to fall. You just don't know who's going to show up. You can't, you can't control that. So it's only against you versus yourself. It no. is. So it is. But, you know, there is times where, you know, I'll go to the driving range on the golf course and I'll hit balls all day and they're flush and I'm smoking everything and they're great. <laughs> and then I go on the golf course and I chunk everything and slice everything and I'm shooting triples. So what's the difference between you posing in a mirror in your bathroom or Luigi staring at you, helping you with, you know, your quarter turns or whatever. And then you go step on stage. Is there like, because there's a breathing side to it there's a right, timing right, side right. to it there's you can't forget you know every muscle's flexing is it different or do you just pose so much that it's ingrained when you walk up there yeah so that's part of the process of prep you know i think posing uh you can probably ag agree with it yeah. that is just as much critical as the actual workout itself yeah i mean because if you do it in front of a mirror constantly constantly but if you look at yourself enough and you're holding that position so if you try and practice at home without a mirror, you know that that's how you're supposed to turn and that's the way it's supposed to feel because you've been looking at yourself so much and or even if someone is helping you and says, hey, you know, show me, show me more, you know, turn a little bit more. It's supposed to hurt. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you mm -hmm. pose, if you pose correctly, it's supposed to hurt yep. and you're mm -hmm. supposed to feel like cramped and, and yeah. sweating and all that yeah. stuff just as much as your own workout. I've seen people get down with posing and they're, yeah, they're, just, they're drenched. Yeah. So if you, if you do it right in the right way and you've constantly do it over and over and over. So my, like toward my prep, it was, I would do a small pose in between sets and then I would do another 30 minutes at home before bed. Really? That was the last consistent for the last month. Mm -hmm. 
So it was just so ingrained in me that when I got on stage, I knew what I was supposed to do. It's a routine. Like it's, oh, yeah. it's, a, it's like a dance routine. I watched your, if you guys haven't seen his routines, you posted them, right? On your yeah, Instagram, go, go check out his routines. It's your, your classic and your uh, bodybuilding. bodybuilding. Yeah. Uh, same song, yeah. different routine, right? Yeah. Obviously it has to be, but it's a, it's a dance. I mean, you had, you had almost like some Kai Green dance routine type stuff in there. Yeah, a little, yeah. almost, right? I mean, <laughs> but so not only are you, you doing these routines, these choreographed routines, you're flexing from the tip of your toe to the top of your head. You know, everything has to be flexed at all, at all these times, you know? And uh, I think that's the most underestimated thing when people go in. Now, this, speaking from somebody who clearly has never done this, right? But it's the most underestimated thing when somebody decides that they want to go do a show. Yeah. They're like, oh shit, I got to pose. What? Okay, cool, flex, all right, you know? And then they're like, oh, this is super hard. I should have done this way more than a week before my show. Yeah. And, and people, I see that a lot. And they're like, that was the hardest part. And you can see it so bad when somebody gets on stage. Mm -hmm. Like, you can, I, you know, you can tell you spent forever. Did you ever post a video on yours? For? For your last show? As far as posing? Yeah, you ever post a video of your? I think I might have one or two. I, I'll okay. have to look and okay. see, but I think I did a few. You, yeah, but you can, you can tell like that you spend these hours, these 30 minutes after a workout, these between sets. And you can tell the people who don't, you know, big time. And, and to put in all of that work and all that prep and then go shit to bed because you can't, you know, you forgot how to pose is, is insane. Well, I, I mean, we feel bad for him. We've seen it. I mean, I know I have, I know he has that. I mean, you can have the body, it can be great. Yeah. But if you are A, not as like polished in your posing or it's not as, you know, fluid, I mean, you'll go from center to the outside Mm -hmm. Just, you know, in a matter of moments. Yeah. What does that mean? Um, you gotta be on, on your, when you're posting, you gotta be on point all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because, I mean, if you have a great PC and you can't even post that, that PC that you have, then how, how are they gonna judge you? If they don't see it, they're gonna put you behind or on the side. Exactly. So, so what do you mean from center to the outside? So if you're so center, that that's where you wanna yeah. be. Yeah. Like, you know, in a lineup, if, if, if the odd number, you know, if there's five, five or seven or, you know, dead center, you know, you yeah. know, you're taking first, yeah. oh, you know, okay. or that's the, that's the position you want. Or if they're, if it's six, then you want the middle two center means you're, you're one, you're Somewhere either first or second. Two, yeah. Um, but what we're saying is if, and they will literally move you. So yeah, so you got, you have seven guys out there, right? And everyone, and they're just random seven guys. Yep. And then they'll start as you pose, they'll start moving. Right. Yeah. Comparisons. Right. They call it comparisons. Yeah. That's okay. judging that. Yeah, so okay. this is the prejudging aspect. They uh, they set you up and they're comparing you. But if you're posing, if you can't hold that pose, you know they'll know real quick. They'll These judges, you. they'll move yeah. you. That's crazy. Yeah. So if you're if you're feeling confident because you stepped on center right at then, and then you your posing is yeah. yeah, you're running out of breath or you can't hold that pose. All right, Deuces. go off to the outside. You yeah. know, and now you went from from first or second to fifth yeah. or sixth. Yeah. 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 You know. Huh. Yeah, that's great. And and then I just can't imagine being in the middle and they move you to the outside and now you've got four more minutes standing up there going, well, this sucks. Yeah. You know, that's, what, you know, because yeah. you, you can get people move to the outside and then, I, you know, they've got to be up there for minutes now, you know, posing and, and, and maybe when you get moved to the outside, have you, has you, have you guys been moved to the outside before? I mean, I only did when I was fighting for the overall. Oh, okay. Um, but I mean, so what happens? What's the mindset? So they move you to the outside. Now, what do you say? Like, oh, I need to get my stuff together. Like I need to yeah. flex harder. Oh, yeah. Or do you oh, just yeah. kind of like, ah, oh, this sucks. No, no, no. You when you're double stage, down. You, yeah. You, you, you go all out. Yeah. You're yeah. thinking, back, you're thinking home. I got to do something, something yeah, different. Something different. <laughs> I got to get back there. Have yeah. you ever seen somebody get moved to the outside and move back in the middle then? Does that ever happen? I mean, on the Olympia stage, but. Uh, well, on mine, that's what they did. I think it's bodybuilding. I started on the back, and then they moved me back. They moved me in the middle. Really? Yeah. I think I remember. I think that was when you won your overall with Mike Hildebrandt uh, against you and Mike. Uh, yeah. You guys, we were all everybody's bumping, flexing, yeah, bumping. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys about threw oh, yeah. hands there. But I think they moved you out and then back in too. Yeah. I, I vaguely remember that. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be nuts. Um, so when you so there's so there's your prep right there's your off season and then there's, there's your prep 
and then you start to get closer, right? So, so you're prepping for your when was Vegas, right? This is Vegas. Uh, Arizona. No, Arizona. Arizona. Yeah, Arizona. Yes, yeah. Arizona. Yeah. So then you got coming up. You got your prep in, and then obviously that's just your clean eating, your your grind out, you know, caloric right. deficit, just getting cut up, and then you go into more of your peak week. So what? How does a peak week work? So basically, they. The, you manipulate or take carbs out. You basically, you eat just protein, like either protein or fat or uh -huh. fish, chicken, and li little less carbs. Okay. So let's say during the prep, you're eating, you gradually go down. And so on a peak week, you only, let's say, you didn't have a cup, you're gonna be eating like or a fourth full of a cup, cup or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that matters. It really matters. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. it's not just the calorie side. Yeah. Like, you're saying, like, then, like, then there's like a, a, you know, at least for me, you know, and for most, there's a water protocol. Yeah, water intake. You know, it's like, hey, you know, like Monday and Tuesday, two and a half gallons. You know, Wednesday's at two. You know, Thursday, you're at like one or one and a half. And I mean, it just co goes down and down because you're yeah. trying to, you know, you're going to dry out. Does everybody have the same peak week then? Like yeah, everybody has like, it differently. So is your, are your guys is the same or do you no, guys no, think no, it's no. different? It'll be different. <laughs> it's all based on how your body is reacting. Your coach, if you have a coach, um, you know, at, dur at least for me, you know, you're constantly checking in at, you know, during yeah. that week, you're, you're checking in a lot. Yeah. You know, and exactly. they're asking you for, you know, pictures, pictures. constantly okay. like, hey, yeah. you know, like mine was, hey, send me a picture, you know, after you eat meal four or, you know, tomorrow morning when you first wake up and then again right before you go to bed like that kind of stuff like you're constantly in communication with your coach it should be That's anyway insane. yeah and you know just to see how your body's reacting because they make even they will throughout make, the day yeah they will make yeah. those adjustments and then you know the friday before the show you know you know then then it's like hey go get some fries or something oh yeah yeah so then yeah. so then oh. at that go you know, get at that, some fries at that point, i can't imagine yeah, yeah. So like, at that point then then you get really happy or you know the yeah, next morning yeah. go go slam I have to. go slam you know six oh, pancakes at ihopper or yeah, you know something like that you know so at this point we're trying to fill you out you know yeah. because now you've been depleted for for so long this is what's your coach's name justin horrell he's out of okay. arizona so okay. he wasn't my coach for salt lake okay so i just awesome. switched so good yeah, yeah cool so what's the switch about uh, the switch. Yeah. Uh, just is the new perspective. Yeah. New, new eyes, new, new, you know, trying to get to, you know, a certain level. Cool. Um, this one was just like, he's got some Olympian athletes under his belt. How'd you find him? Uh, through my posing coach. Really? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. Well, that should probably be exciting for you. Yeah. Then. Yeah. Just yeah. something Absolutely. new and yeah. something to look yeah. at and kind of build off of what, you know, you obviously capable of first. Right. So, and what's your coach's name? Uh, in uh, on Instagram, it's Mary and Charlie Portique. On Facebook, it's Charlie Portique. Yeah, awesome. They got a nice gym. In Where are they based out of? Nampa. Are they? Okay. At their own gym. Pretty local. Yeah. Sweet. Sweet. So on, on the supplement side then here, so is, is your supplements that you use, is it different from off season to prep to peak week? I mean, do you use them? Oh, yeah, how often? Like how does the supplement side supplement, work uh, to it? For me, off season, uh, I take creatine or the carb, the powder. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah, I take those during workout, uh, so I don't get hungry when I work out. Uh, protein, I mean, protein is consistent. It's, it's like throughout the, the prep, off yeah. season. Yeah. Uh, your muscle vitamins, uh, pre-workout, BCA, EAAs. That's about it. Yep. And then on cutting season, that's when really trying to pick. You cut your creatine, uh, try to take more CLA, carnitine. Mm -hmm. so. Yep. So some, so some for the most part are, are a core that stay, you know, whether you're in yeah. prep or not. Mm -hmm. burners, that would be, you know, like your, yeah, your, your, your protein, your yeah. creatines and your glutamines for the most part. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, you got some multivitamins here and there. It's kind of, you know, again, you got to, you know, trust within your coach of, you know, what they want to see from you. But that's usually the core, at least it was for me. That was like the core. And then when you, for me, then when prep came, then, you know, then you just add on top of that already, yeah. you know, cause you're still taking that, you know, and then there's some, you know, little hidden supplements for some people that, you know, don't, don't know, like taurine, yep. you know, helps with cramping, but people are like, oh, I don't want to do it. Cause my coach didn't say it, or it was okay they're or whatever, afraid. you know, yeah. they're afraid, but all you have to do is just ask. Mm -hmm. 
you know, and they'll say yay or nay, but most of the time it's like, okay, well then, yeah, because if you are cramping, then you gotta, you know, you don't want to keep cramping. Yeah, no doubt. Well, I think some of the pre-workout has it already, has in it already, so. Yeah, a lot of it does, and, yeah. and but what I've noticed though is you guys have been coming in for years and you get the same stuff, but you don't, you don't get some stuff, I don't see it for six months, and then you get, like, you get the same stuff every month. And what I've noticed when people start in the beginning, they buy $400 worth of shit, and then I don't see them for six months, and then they come back and they're like, oh, I need this for, and it's, they're so inconsistent because they don't know. They they think that in the supplement side, more is better, and it's it's really built built on the foundation. You know, I usually call it the milk, bread, and eggs, and that's right, just right. the, Caleb Kenner, that's where I got that from. I'll let him see that. Um, and that's the, <laughs> the um, just the essential side of that. It's just, it, like you said, the foundation side of it. And so it is, you know, I feel like it is your protein, your amino acids to stay hydrated, to keep from cramping, to uh, have that increased protein synthesis to yeah. allow the body to grow. I'm a huge, big, I'm a big fan of pre-workouts. Kendra Reeves was on here and she's like, pre-workouts are overrated. And that's, that is, it is overrated. I mean, you don't need a pre-workout, but it, the idea of it is, if well, somebody will ask me, what's, what's more important? Hey, I've got, I've got this much money, should I get a pre-workout or a protein? Now, the easy answer is protein, but are you eating adequately outside of the gym? Right, and right. are you dragging ass yeah. inside the gym? Yeah. I would argue now pre-workout might be, you yeah. know, the, the best one. So it, it, it's all, you know, overrated and underrated to a lot of different people with a lot of different supplements, you know? So I think, I mean, yeah, I mean, toward what you're saying, like it, you know, it's going to come down to the food that you're eating anyway, really, um, for, you know, right for, for, but like pre-workout, you know, I think most people like the, that itchy feeling mm -hmm. that, that, that the little, like it's going to scratch your eyeballs out type thing. And mm -hmm. that's, as we know, that's beta alanine. Mm -hmm. Right. So, um, but I like it. You know, but if you do, do you need it? Probably not. Well, in a cut too, I bet you that's so amplified. I bet oh, yeah. you, oh, like I'd want to rip huge. my face it's off. Tough. Huge. Like yeah. it'd be insane. And and what's funny though too, is I was talking to a guy um, uh, older, he's been out of the game for uh, like 14 years and won a bunch of big, big like Mr. Idaho shows and Mr. Western USA shows and stuff and he was in here and he's got a show coming up in a few weeks and uh he said you know i just I, I i do drink my water but man i drink a lot of diet soda i drink a lot of like monster zeros and now this guy has done he's done it all like i mean he's he's i'd argue one of the smartest guys in idaho when it comes to bodybuilding and it's it's so nice because people will cut out their pre-workout. People will cut out so many. I, I, I'm cutting, I'm getting close to the show. I don't want anything extra. Oh, it has sucralose in it? I don't, I don't want it. I don't, and, and people will deplete themselves and just mentally kill themselves. And it was kind of nice to hear somebody who's been in the, in the game for 30 plus years say, no, I had two diet sodas and a, mount, and a monster today monster zero and i'm two weeks out right and it's and it is it's it's an idea of where your body's at yeah right and, right but you yeah. don't have to kill yourself no. I, I've, I've noticed it's not an absolute just chicken rice broccoli right i think you know everyone it, it's everybody's body's different obviously yeah um and so that's kind of, you know i always say you got to pay attention to your body that's i mean that's literally the key again you know because Certain, like I never cut things out either, you know. I was still putting in like, like those sugar-free drink packets, you know, up until peak week or something like that. Yeah. Just, you know, because I was, uh, it was okay. My body was saying it's fine. Like it didn't do anything. Like it didn't do anything for me. I was down. Pickles actually was my lifesaver during my last month of prep. I hear that a lot. Pickles, pickles really did everything for me, you know. And I mean, it's sodium, so like yeah. you're you are gonna you know add some water weight a little bit per se. Uh -huh. But I would down three dill pickle spears yeah. right before my workout, and I killed it. Why? Because you're getting that sodium intake. Oh, okay, you're fuller. Yeah. yeah. Do you, are you a pickle guy? No, mine, I don't know, for me, I don't like pickles, but for me, during prep, 
Uh, I like sugar-free ketchup. Low zero calorie ketchup. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. I'm a ketchup guy. Mm -hmm. Do you guys remember Tyson Froden? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, he yeah, was, yeah, yeah. Man, that guy would eat pop tarts <laughs> and and gummy bear like during his and I'm talking like a week out. Like what are you doing? Some you know, people are genetically crazy. gifted. Yeah. 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 It's again, it's yeah. the it's the body like yeah. It, it's it's an amazing thing what the body can do. Yeah. But you know, like you said, like certain things like that that you, you know, if your body is reacting okay to it and it's not making you feel, you know, sluggish or anything, then it's okay to keep doing it. Like, why are you gonna cut it out? Right. You know, right. If, if your body like for ketchup, it has to be for him. But, but there's know? gotta like, be a panic mode too. Like, maybe I shouldn't be doing this, or should I do that? Like, I think it, do you start it, to panic towards does, the end? Does, yeah, for it me, can be. Big week, yeah. My, I. Because uh, my coach, oh, Charlie, told me we were going to cut any artificial flavoring, so I didn't have any BCA, pre-workout, uh, sugar, or artificial sweetener, or whatever. So yeah, everything's cut off, so I was Ugh. really sluggish, like nothing. I don't want to move. And on top of that, I have to work. Then work, gym, and then home. So I'm pretty, like I said, I'm very thankful with my, for my wife. So. Um. Let's see it. Let's see your. So this Hold is it up, man. this Hold is your it actual. Yeah, let's see it. Brent, grab it. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you can, right? So I think you're good in that. This one, right? This here. Yeah. So check these out. Okay, so you've got the actual IFBB Pro card. So are, what are you gonna do with that? Are you gonna frame it? What are you yeah, gonna do? Yeah, my with wife's it? gonna frame it. Cool. And then hang it. But cool. Because you you got two cards, right? I got right? two, and then I I got. I give one to my coach and sign it so he can put up. There you go. On his awesome. Yeah. There'll be another one coming soon. That's killer. Yeah, right. Well, you know, actually, it's funny you say that, right? Because, you know, there's this local side of it, and then there's a lot. I feel like there are the select few that, that get on stage just to say, I've, I've done it. Mm -hmm. The majority in their head, in the back of that, is like, I want that pro card, right? I mean, if you're going to go through this, you you want that pro card. So it's, you know, to see probably, you know, the guy you're working out with, you see him in the gym every day and he smashed out two pro cards. You've got to be like, oh, yeah. yeah, I'm next. You yeah. know, I mean, it's got to reach your mind. It's yeah. coming, yeah. I, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm hungry. It's yeah. coming. It is. It's And it's weird to see your guys' mindsets too because there are a lot of people who can blow up early um, and then they kind of coast a while. Like, But you guys, you know, if, you see your before and after pictures like you guys just grind this out like year after year after year and it's and it isn't you guys don't turn off and turn on like your guys you may be off season or on you know on season i guess if you will yeah is that, is that a word prep prep, <laughs> prep. <laughs> um but it's you know but it you're always working yeah. like it, it never ends and there are people when they are off season by god they're off season they're done you know, and they're like, ah, yeah, I'll probably do this show. And then they'll, you know, they'll turn it on for 12 weeks. And then, you know, but that's, that's not, that's not going to earn you a pro card. They'll right, right. No, I mean, and if, and, and if you're lucky enough that it does, it's, you're not going to go anywhere with it. It's good. I mean, it's good to have the support system. Like that's what drives you and stuff. So like, yeah. you know, when I run into him at the gym, you know, I'll, I'll you know, we'll say a couple of things, you know, cause we're in the middle of a workout, you know, you don't want to sit there and talk all day. Mm -hmm. But like, you know, yesterday he just, he was like, hey man, if you got a plan, execute it. I mean, that's usually what he says all the time. You know, that's what he tells me all the time. And I'm like, you know, it's just getting comfortable with being fluffy or whatever. And he's like, yeah. it's part of the process. But he's like, yeah. if you got a plan, set it. So like, you know, little things like that is what triggers another like, all right, you know, you're going, you're going in the right trajectory, like keep going, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, mm -hmm. like this is part of it and stuff like that, you know, and we talk just little things here and there but that's what it is he'll always say like you know execute you need anything you know let me know yeah type stuff so it's the support system that really does like so you know i went to arizona to go watch you oh know? you did yeah. yeah so he wasn't the, like the only like i w there was three of my friends that were competing and he was one of them uh -huh. um i didn't get to say hi to his wife or anything i was trying you know but i did and i so let you him saw know. him compete though yeah oh and awesome. i went and said uh cool. like i messaged him the you know the day of or the night or, you know like I'm gonna be there, I'm watching you, like, it was good seeing you, like, dominate on stage, all that stuff, like, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. equally, you know, we're competitors, but we support, support one another, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. even though we're different classes, or, you know, he's classic and, and bodybuilding, I'm just men's physique, but we equally support each other. I'm, I'm just men's physique, like, like I, I'm just yeah. men's physique. Well, like, I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. but like, you know, equally, we want 
his success like it fuels me to to be successful yeah you know like because we've been i've been following him for a while but we just became friends as of recent but mm -hmm. you know to see him and his work ethic and his journey it's like well i'm gonna do that too yeah you know and i have you know it fuels my own thing you know because and, and you're already there but it just right I think right it just but it's you in, yeah in no it's so nice yeah it's, category it's, it's nice and i'm like that was my friend that did that yeah yeah. You know, and my advice to whoever watching this, I mean, like I said, uh, surround yourself with the same mindset, same goal. I mean, next thing you know, you're on the same boat with them. So, yeah, surround yourself with same mindset, same goal. It and that 100 percent. And it's funny how, you know, people will look at bodybuilding and even me, you know, yeah, it's a sport. But it's 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 a lifestyle it's a healthy lifestyle taken to a, a exaggerated crazy level yeah. right and and saying pick a plan and execute it surround yourself with with like-minded people you know you're you're you have to, you know you have to be involved with it all the time it has to be you know you you have to do this all the time in order to get to this level as you guys say that that literally goes with every sport that ever existed. When I say, when I said, uh, you know, bodybuilding is a super, super selfish sport, because it, it has to be. I said, no, they all are. You know, and, and that's really funny perspective because you're absolutely right. You, if you want to get to that level, having some muscle in is not going to cut it. It's just not. There's so much more to it that people don't see. And, and you try to expose this. You know, some people say dark side, but I think when you say dark side to like bodybuilding, the first thing I think is like steroids, yeah. which, you know, but the, the dark side to me means you're not getting sleep, yeah. you know, some, uh, for most, you know, you're sacrificing relationships with friends oh, and absolutely. family and, Huge. you know, you're missing out on, you know, nephews and nieces birthday parties because yeah. you don't want to be around the cake. You yeah. don't, you know, that's, I mean, that's yeah. crazy. That to me, that's the dark side of it. Yeah. Right. Well, because that's what you you know you'll get that from everybody or you know close family. They're like, you know, if you eat this, it's not going to hurt you or it's not going to kill yeah. you. No, I and know it's offended. not going to kill they're me. They're offended. Yeah. Right. It's not going to kill me. No, but it is going to set me back. You know, two or three days. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't eat for today. We eat for tomorrow and the next day's results. Yeah. You yeah. know. So like, yeah. Okay. Maybe today I could have that cookie, or that donut or whatever but it's going to affect me two days later. Yeah. You know, and it's going to show, you know, and you can't, you can't lie to your coach either. I mean, you can, but they're going to they know. Tell, yeah, they yeah but now he's know. just taking your money. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? If you're going to you know, pay him right. and then you're going to lie to him now. They're, well, they're like, going to, they're going to know when you check in. Yeah, yeah, you know, most coaches tell. will, you'll, you'll check in once a week, you know, during prep, it's a little different. You might check in twice a week or so, something like that. But during the off season. That's crazy. They you know, know though. Oh yeah. They'll know. They were like, Okay, what did you do? You know? Really? No, seriously. That's crazy, they, though. Just because of the eye for detail and what they're See, looking for. See, that's why I like to stay at a very comfortable 20%, right? So <laughs> my cookie, it showed, but also my lasagna showed, right, right, and it's yeah. fine. I'm good with it. Like, Coach can tell me. I'll tell him what I ate. You know? yeah. It's fine. But yeah, but when you start to get to that, that crazy, like, sub 10%, like, they can really tell. Like, yeah. if you, if you oh, had yeah. a meal, you shouldn't have. That's blows my mind you know because yeah. it's just to me it's just it's just calories you know but it's not like they are created unequally right i'm making up words as i go <laughs> that's fine. cool um well cool well i really appreciate you guys coming i think i think this will be a lot of <clears throat> excuse me a lot of fun and have, have good feedback and stuff and if you guys want to reach out to these guys your handle is just luigi I have BB. I have BB Pro. Oh, Luigi yeah, Bosco. yeah, yeah. Updated, updated. Yes, yeah, so uh, it should be easy to find. And then we've got uh, pre IFBB Pro. Uh, no, it's just uh, it's Manny, just Manny, just Manny Gomez. Manny three. Gomez, three, three. Yeah. Awesome. So make sure you guys go follow them and, and check them out. And and uh, I would assume if you guys, you know, if people have questions, they can reach out to uh, you. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Cool. And so that'll be fun for you guys. And um, again, I appreciate you guys. You guys Appreciate you guys coming. And real quick, when's you, do you have a show planned? Yeah, uh, my coach wants me wants me to do a New York Pro, but we want we want to get more year. size, so maybe a year, a year and a half. A year and a half. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Big cool. show. We'll, we'll keep an eye out for that. Bro. Cool. That would be awesome. We'll keep an eye out for it. And then you got yours November twentieth. Yep. November twentieth in, so. in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Florida. 
Awesome. Okay. Thanks, guys. See you. Thank you.